buried in Christian burial that willfully seeks her own salvation? I tell thee she is. The coroner adds that on her and finds it to be a Christian burial. Well, how can that be? Unless she drowned herself in self-defense. <laughs> <laughs> Why she found so? It must be self-offense. It cannot be else. For here lies the point. If I drown myself wittingly, it argues an act. And an act hath three branches. It is to act, to say, to do. <laughs> and go, she drowned herself wittingly. Nay, but hear you, good man, Delma. Give me leave. Here lies the water. Good? Here stands the man. <laughs> if the man go to this water and drown himself, it is willy-nilly goes. <laughs> Mind you that. But if water go to him and drown him, Next, say a grave maker. 
the houses that he builds less to doomsday. <laughs> <laughs> Go get the inn. Fetch me a stoop of liquor. Ah, oh, pickaxe, a spade, and a spade. Four and a shrouding sheet. Oh, a pit of clay for to be made. For such a guest is meat. <laughs> Has this fellow no feeling of his business that he sings and praise making? Custom has made it in him a property of easiness. I'll speak to this fellow. Whose grave is this, sir? Mine, sir. <laughs> I mean, you'd be dying deep for that liest in it. You lie out on it, and thus it is not yours. But for my part, I do not lie in it, and yet it is still mine. <laughs> <laughs> what man does thou dig it for? Oh, for no man, sir. For no woman, then? For no neither. <laughs> Who is to be buried in it? One that was a woman. Uh, but rest her soul, she's dead. How <laughs> <laughs> oh, absolute the name is. We must speak by the card, or equivocation will undo us. How long hast thou been a grave maker? Of all the days in the year, I came to it the day young Hamlet was born. He that's mad and gone into England. Aye, Mary, why is he gone into England? Why, because he was mad. He'll recover his wits there, or if he don't, it's no great matter there. <laughs> Why? Will not be seen in him there? There the men are as mad as he. <laughs> <laughs> How came he mad? Very strangely, that he said. How strangely? Faith he was losing his wits. Upon what ground? Why? Here in Denmark, of course! <laughs> <laughs> How long will a man lie in the earth ere he rot? In faith, if he had not rotten before he died. <laughs> he will last you some eight year or nine year. Or look, here lies a skull. This skull hath laid in the earth some three and twenty year. Whose was it? A horse, son it was. A mad fellows. Whose do you think it was? Nay, I know not. A pestilence upon him for a mad rogue. A port of flag and a reddish on my head once. This same skull was Yorick's skull, the king's jester. This? Mm, that. Let me see. Alas, poor York. I knew him, Horatio, a fellow of infinite jest, of most excellent fancy. He hath borne me on his back a thousand times. No. Oh, pardon my imagination it is. My gorge rims at it. Here hung those lips that I have kissed, I know not how oft. Where be your jibes now? Your gambles, your songs, your flashes of merriment that were wont to set the table on a roar. Not one now to mock your own grinning. You're quite chapfallen. What's up? What's up? Beside, here comes the king. <laughs> 